Four score and seven years ago, out, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and de dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who have gave their lives that that, that nation might live. It is also fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow the ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will, will little no, no long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advised. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from this honored dead we take increased devo devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we were highly resolved that these dead shall not have died in vain, that the nation under God shall have a new birth for freedom, and that government of the people by the people for the people shall not perish from the earth.